Hi all you Band in the Box users, new and old. We're bringing you a tutorial on how to install Band in the Box for Windows using our new Download and Install Manager. Please note that the Download and Install Manager will only work for Band in the Box 2021 and newer, so if you have an older version to install, please check out one of our other tutorial videos. This includes cases where you need to install an older version that your 2021 or newer version is upgraded from. Now if you've redeemed a Band in the Box serial number purchased from a retailer, or if you've purchased directly from PG Music, you'll receive a confirmation email much like this one I have in front of me. If you have not yet redeemed your serial number, you will need to do so now. Please open your browser, then navigate to pgmusic.com forward slash redeem. Here, enter in your name, email address, language, and serial number. Then once you've made sure everything is entered correctly, please check the CAPTCHA box, solve the CAPTCHA puzzle, and click register serial number. Once it's registered, you should receive the confirmation email. Now in the email itself, the two most important things are your download link and your serial number. Let's start by clicking on the download link. This will take us to the download page. Now here we are, this is your download page. You'll see a number of things on here, including some setup help, manuals, and some suggested tutorial videos. But the most important things on this page are your download URL, your serial number, and the download link for the install manager. So let's start by clicking on that. Now you'll notice that it's popped up into our download button on our browser. I'm using the Microsoft Edge browser for this tutorial, so if you're using a different browser, then this may look different. Either way, let's open up the downloaded file. Now this is the installer for the install manager. It will start by giving you a couple pages of information. The first page covers the software license agreement. Please read through this, click I accept, then click next. The second page covers some instructions and information. Read that if you like, then click next again. Now it will ask you where you want to install the install manager. The default location is usually fine, however for the more advanced users feel free to change this. Keep in mind that this is only for the install manager which will not fill up all of your storage space. Now the last page here offers you the option of a desktop icon for the install manager. This is your choice, but we recommend leaving the box checked. Either way, click next. And now the installer will take a minute to install the install manager. When it's done, simply click finish to run the install manager. Now for the moment we're done with the download page and the email, so you can just minimize those. But we will need them again soon, so please don't close them. Alright, now let's get to actually using the install manager. To get started with downloading, click on the enter download URL button, and now you'll need to enter the URL from your download page or from your email. It's easiest to grab it from the download page, so let's go back there and click on the button that says copy to clipboard next to your download URL. There are two copy to clipboard buttons here, so please make sure you're clicking on the one next to the download URL and not next to the serial number. Then go back to the install manager and click on paste from clipboard and click OK. Now that we have the URL entered into the download manager, there are two last things to check before we start installing. First, take a look at your download location. By default, it will create a folder called BB Downloads in your C drive and will automatically install downloaded files. One thing to consider here is the option to automatically remove downloaded files once they're installed. The install manager downloads the files as a compressed installer, then installs the files from there, meaning that if you leave this box unchecked, it could use significantly more hard drive space. If you have only enough hard drive space for your purchase, I'd suggest clicking that to save some drive space. Otherwise, if you have enough space or you want to back the files up for later use, then I'd leave it unchecked. It can be good to have those files later in case something goes wrong. Next, we should check the Band in the Box install location. By default, it will install to your C drive. If you want to install to a different hard drive, simply click on the ellipsis button next to each install location here, then choose a different location from the window that pops up. Now if you want to do a custom installation, where you have Band in the Box on your internal storage and the reel tracks and drums on a different drive, simply click on the ellipsis next to reel tracks folder location and browse to wherever you want to install the reel tracks, then do the same with the drums. Once you're happy with the download and install locations, simply click download and install all, double check that everything looks okay, and click yes. Files will start downloading now, but don't look away quite yet. Once the first file finishes downloading, you'll be prompted with the main Band in the Box installer. Start by clicking Next. This will bring you to the software license agreement. Please read this, then click I accept, followed by Next. Now it will show you a welcome page. This has some information and instructions in it for installation, so feel free to read that if you like, then click Next. Now it will ask for install locations. 
These should already be set to whatever you selected in the Install Manager app, so briefly check it over, then click Next. Now it will ask you to choose what components to install. We suggest going with the defaults for a normal installation. However, more advanced users can choose what they want from here. Either way, click Next again. The following two pages will ask about program shortcuts. We recommend the defaults, so just click Next a couple times until you're at the final screen. Once you've made sure that everything looks correct on this page, click Install. Now we're off to the races. You can see that things are starting to download. For me this will take about an hour, but for some users it may take longer or shorter. Feel free to use your computer for other tasks while it downloads, or go do something else. Alright, now that the install manager is finished, we can run Band in a Box. Click Yes to do that. Now before we get to creating some songs, Band in a Box will likely have a couple messages pop up. It will ask you to update the style list, and it will ask you to activate. Start by clicking Yes to rebuild the style list, then click Yes to confirm. This will take 30 seconds to a minute to rebuild the styles, reel tracks, drums, and other content. Once the style list has completed rebuilding, click OK to close that window. Now we need to activate. You'll notice that I've lost the green message at the bottom. Normally if you just click on that, it will open up the activation window, but since it's disappeared on me, we can activate by going to the Help menu and clicking Activate Band in the Box. This will give us the choice of activating online or offline. The easiest way to go is to activate online, as the offline method requires contacting our customer service team to get an activation code. I'll start by showing you how to activate online, but I will also show you how to activate offline after that. Once you click on Activate Online, it will ask for your serial number. To get the serial number, go back to your download page, click on the Copy to Clipboard button next to your serial number, then go back to Band in a Box and right-click and paste it in. Then click Activate Now. Band in a Box will then contact our computer servers to receive the activation code. Once you're activated, you're ready to go! If you have to activate offline for some reason, then click the Activate Offline button. You'll see a similar screen to the online activation window, except that in addition to the serial number, you'll see that it provides a request number and asks for an activation code. To activate, you'll have to contact our customer service team to get the activation code. You can contact us via phone, email, or online chat. You'll need to provide us both the serial number and request number for us to be able to generate the activation code, as this is unique for each computer. Once you've received the activation code, simply enter the serial number and your activation code into this window and click Activate Now. Success! You're now fully ready to use Band in the Box. If you have any other questions, or if you ran into any trouble, then feel free to contact our customer service team. Otherwise, thanks for watching this tutorial video, and as always, have fun!